Good evening, everybody. Let's start with college football. It was another morning practice for Truman State as the Bulldogs hit the turf at Stoke Stadium. The offense looked good, and the deep fans had their moments. Today was the first day the players put the pads on, and so far, so good. We're starting to get some chemistry with the offense, and uh, just the more reps you get, uh, the more uh, – you know, comfortable you feel with the guys around you. Everybody looks pretty excited, as they always do on the second day, to come out here and do a little bit of hitting. Now we got the pads on, so it's looking good. Most area high school football teams can't wait to hit someone in another jersey at various jamborees around the area. Kirksville will host Macon, Brookfield, and Marceline Friday at 7. So what have the Kirksville Tigers been working on? Today we had a really quick, quick in and out session on the field. We, we were heavy conditioning, we're lifting now, and then we're going to watch some film. So basically just everything that we need to address on film is what we'll be working on towards the Jamboree. As the 2017 football season starts, there is nowhere to go but up for Ottumwa. As the Bulldogs were 0-9 last year, one of the things the team is focusing on is fundamentals. I think it's a good opportunity for us to just teach, um, not necessarily, I mean, it's fast paced as far as where we're, when we're getting to where we're going, but, but we're doing a lot more teaching this week. One of the feel good stories of the year will be about Lauren Gaines of Crooksville Cross Country. Gaines missed all of last year with a stress fracture in her calf. When she started training again, when did she reach the point where she stopped thinking about the injury coming back? I'm kind of past that stage and now it's more just getting back into my mileage, getting everything down and preparing myself. I've taken it easy for a long time, which was really hard. I hated it. It's hard to find the balance, but I'm to the point where I'm working and going. The Kirksville girls tennis team should be strong in singles, but getting the right pairings for doubles could be a process. So doubles was really kind of a you know a spot that we needed to improve on we worked on that this summer um, you know hopefully we get a little bit better you know at the doubles we, we need it Kirksville golfer Abby Boyer finished 19th at state as a freshman part of the reason for her success is because she likes to practice and but I think that if I practice I have more quality time and I'm actually it helps me get a lot better to have more repetition than to go out and play. I think for me, I practice and then playing is to show like what I can do. Is Teresa's final forecast up to par? She's up next.